You faked with me. Yes. No. Yes. You faked it. I faked it. That whole thing, the whole production, it was all an act. Fake, 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 fake. I'm stunned. I'm shocked. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host, Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of Steam's most wishlisted game for almost two years. Yes, the day before. Now, this game was dethroned for a little over a week when Stray started getting popular, the kitty cat game. And it did take over as number one, but then Stray officially released and the day before took back its number one spot. And there has been so much controversy, so many rumors and conspiracy theories around this game. And I'm going to catch everybody up in this video. I'm going to explain what is going on with the day before from the beginning, because I've covered most of it on my YouTube channel. And we are going to start right now. The day before looks haunting and incredibly realistic in its announcement trailer. Right now we're on the website Dual Shockers. This was published January 28th, 2021. At the time, you may be watching it over two years ago. And it really did have a lot of buzz behind it. This right here, the 4K announcement trailer, I have played on my YouTube channel three times because it, I mean, honestly, it looks really, really good. There's a reason why this is the most wish listed game. A lot of people said it reminded them of The Division and The Last of Us series, crammed into one, but in an MMO survival fashion, again, with amazing visuals. So it gets its Steam page. We get the 4K announcement trailer, and so far, everybody is happy. Fast forward to the end of 2021. The day before release date announced. Ooh, I've been, I remember that 4K trailer, and I have been waiting patiently for a release date. So when is this game coming? Well, don't worry, we now have a date. June 22nd, 2022. Now, this isn't... 2022. This isn't Q1, Q2. They gave a very specific date, June 22nd, 2022. And this is what they were showing on their Steam page. Okay. So far, everything is still great. We got a great announcement trailer and we now have a very specific release date. Fast forward to April 24th, 2022. Right now, we're on the website mmorpg.com. It looks like prior to that June release date, they are going to run a pre-launch beta. Oh, yes, I'm finally going to get my hands on this game. I mean, it's the most wishlisted game in the world. Man, I hope they select me to play it because so far, not a single person that isn't working on the game has been able to play it. Wrong. We will have a pre-launch beta but only for thousands of lucky ones. It's great that our publisher has so many employees. Pre-launch beta is for employees only. Nothing leaked to the public. Nothing you could even find out there. Oh, that kind of sucks. I was hoping I was going to be able to play it. At this point now, okay, we have gone from January 2021 to April 2022, and I've made a video by this point, okay? Moving over to Aaron Action RPG's official Twitter, Survival MMO the day before, coming soon, question mark. And look who replies here at the bottom. The day before's official account, yes, June 21st, okay? So, for the most part at this point, I'm fine. Even though I'm getting lots of people sending me articles, lots of people commenting on the YouTube video. Hey, dude, this game's a scam. This game is not real. The trailer they put out was all fabricated. It is not a real game. Hey, well, they're on Twitter and they're telling me it's coming June 21st. We are now fast forwarding to May 7th, 2022. The day before announces delay until 2023, moving to Unreal Engine. Five. Millions of people have added the day before to their wish list, making the day before one of the most anticipated games in the world. Feeling and understanding the great responsibility that we face with enormous gratitude in our hearts, we're pleased to announce that the day before is switching to the new Unreal Engine 5 technology. Their transition is a more advanced and adapted open world engine 
and will make the gameplay of the day before even more fantastic. In this regard, we inform you that the new release date for the game will be March 1st, 2023. So now at this point, okay, at this point, ooh, like people have emailed me, people have commented, lots of people in the community have been telling me, dude, this is not a real game. And it was at this point I started thinking, maybe this isn't a real game, but it's on Steam. It's the most wish listed game. They've got all these official accounts. I don't know. All right, now I'm more on the fence. Fast forward, June 28th, 2022. This is basically right around when the game was supposed to launch. The day before devs are looking for volunteers to help with aspects of development. Now, lo and behold, we start getting some information about this studio. And ultimately, what we find out is that this studio working on this project is over 95% unpaid volunteers. Now think for a second. Let, let that think you want to be a game designer. Hey, I'm just trying to get my foot in the door. You know what? This is what we can do. This is the most anticipated game of the decade. It's number one wish listed on Steam. You can come work on it. It would look great on your resume, but unfortunately right now it's unpaid. What do you think? Over 90% of the studio. Wow. So I make a video. New drama the day before unpaid workers. And the official the day before response. They are so kind that they give me some definitions of what a volunteer is what an unpaid volunteer or a paid volunteer is and an employee slash worker like that is so kind of them. They think they're so clever with this tweet. Okay. But don't worry. Remember, we still have that release date. Now we're going to jump forward to January 6th, 2023. Yes. Only a little bit, a couple of weeks ago. The day before gets new DLSS trailer ahead of its March 1st launch. Oh my gosh. This whole time I thought the game was fake. Everybody told me it's not real, but in my heart, in my heart, I knew it was. And finally, we're going to get to see new gameplay. We're going to get to check out this trailer, which I will play at the end of this video. <sighs> March 1st, I can wait. Fast forward to January 25th, 2023, the day before D listed from Steam delayed once more over trademark claim. Unbelievable. There is still, to this day, not a single person in the world that I guess does not work for the studio has played this game. There's never been a live stream. There has never been leaked gameplay ever. And for now, two years, there are more people out there that think that the game isn't even real than people think that it is real. So why is it delayed this time? This is unbelievable. Dear fans, right before the release, Steam blocked our game page at the request of a private individual because of the name the day before. As you know, our game was announced in January 2021, and at the time of announcement, the day before game trademark was available. After the announcement of the game, the above mentioned individual filed, filled out an application before us to register the game trademark. What's next? Previously, we are not aware of the existence of claims. We found out about this only January 19th, 2023, when we received a complaint from him and a request to contact him. Now we have to find out all the circumstances of the incident and we will definitely solve everything. We previously planned to post a lengthy gameplay video later this month, but we'll have to sort this issue out. First, we will post a video ASAP. As a result, we have made the difficult decision to postpone the launch to November 10th, 2023. We understand that this may be a disappointment to many of our fans. However, we want to ensure you that the release date, the release, the best game possible. Our 100% focus remains on the game itself 
and how to deliver the best game possible. What's so telling about this is still they haven't released anything. Because if they're like, hey, listen, the game's 100% done. We updated the Steam page. We're probably going to need to figure out a new name. Here's a beta. Here's a demo. Here's something that shows us that this is a real project and to get back the loyalty of the people that wishlisted this game. Right now, if you head over to Steam and check out the most wishlisted game, guess what doesn't pop up? The day before is gone. So now you know the story of the day before. And the question is, do you think it's real or do you think it's fake? Remember, this is a massive, this is a MMO survival game. It's not some small rogue. Will it release at the end of this year? Time will tell. Now what I'm going to do is to take out this video. I'm going to play for you this new 55 second DLSS trailer. So at least you could see, you know, whatever the heck the studio has given us which is only the second bit of gameplay in two years we have seen. Like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out.